Yeah, tell me. Tell me. Say hi. Yeah, there's a smile. What are you saying? Perhaps it's best, although I'm sure I won't find anything. Hi. Where's your friend? Oh, bless you. <coughs> bless you. Where's your friend? Okay. Hi. Are you eating your hand again? Well, hello everybody. I'm sorry you guys have not seen us all day. It's been, it's been a rough day. It's been, a, been a real rough day. Uh, remember we were telling you yesterday that the cat that I've had for 15 years was passing away. Yeah, she definitely passed away today. So it, uh, it was. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if you if you ever had animals, you know that they become a part of the family, and that's just pretty much how it is. So, like, it becomes a little bit harder to be able to go ahead and say goodbye and kind of move on from that. So, today has been all about that. We got home yesterday, and my mom, uh, my mom pretty much knew that it was coming to an end, and then uh, we, uh, had, what, oh, I. I woke up this morning and my mom let me know that she's pretty much just catatonic at that point. She just was, she was pretty much just laying there in the same spot. She really didn't move. So we picked her up and we took her downstairs and, and put her in front of the fireplace and, um, you know, just try to make, try to make her as comfortable as we possibly could. And, um, yeah. And, uh, I don't know what, about noon today? Something yeah, like that? Yeah, it was noon. About I noon, she she uh, kind of just started gasping for air a little bit, and the funny thing is, like, she hadn't moved really all day long. I mean, she was literally just laying there, and then you kind of saw her back foot uh, start taking off as if she was running. Um, and we we had we got her and her brother at the same time, and her brother got cancer. Oh gosh, probably close to ten years ago now, I think nine years ago, nine, ten years ago, and uh, <clears throat> we had to put him to sleep. So we figure, we figure she saw him and decided, you know, it's time to be done, time to go, go on. So she has, she has left this world, and uh, it's hard, man. I, I mean, I, I don't want to pretend, I know some of you are going to say, oh, it's just an animal. It, that's stupid. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to you, but that, that's probably the worst view I've ever heard of anything. You know, animals are, you know, animals become a part of the family. That's why we domesticate animals. That's why we have them, is so that they become part of the family. And when you treat them like that, it doesn't make it easy to say goodbye. So we spent the day saying goodbye. And now we're going to put this girl to bed. <laughs> yeah. Both girls. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, not unless you want to go to bed. Both girls? Yeah, me too. Me too? Yeah. You're putting me to bed? Well, I just said that I guess if you want to go to bed, you could. Oh, I want to go to bed, but I probably won't yet. Yet. I need to turn off the lights and get her relaxed. Okay, we'll see you guys in a minute. Hello? <laughs> no? Is that not how we talk? Kind of weirded out. Hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I want to do it again, but <laughs> I'm drooling. All I keep wanting to say is hello. Like there's nothing else that comes to mind. <laughs> Death. It makes me weird. <sighs> <laughs> what did you say? Death. It brings it brings out the weird in me. It brings out the weird in me. That's all I got. Yeah. 
Ugh. Hey guys, well like I said, it's been a long, really, really hard day. I mean, it's been, it's like, it's just such a roller coaster anytime things like this happen, of your emotions. And, you know, we just, all of our company just left this morning, and it's just like, it's been a, a disaster the last few weeks. It's been an emotional day, for sure. Hey guys, well thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, it's been a, like we said, it's been a long, long rough day, so we're gonna, we are gonna get some sleep, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning. It should be a better day tomorrow, I would imagine. It's always the first, first day is always the hardest, so we'll get over that hump and we should be alright. So, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night! Good night. And then you realize that no matter how cool you think you are and how cool your new car is, you still don't own a Maserati.